standard english students unit 5 poem a father to his son called agus sandberg so already we have seen first four stanza so remaining stanza now we are going to learn about it okay so here uh, this is uh, fifth and second stanza here so in this poem what is the main theme of the poem already i have been informed you when father advice to his son so how to live in your life properly so that is the main theme of this poem okay here tell him time and say stuff can be wasted tell him time just uh, what is the time and how to useful the time make it a proper way okay tell him time as a stuff can be wasted so don't waste our time so we have to make our time perfectly in our life tell him to be full every so often tell him to be full every so often and to have no shame of having been your fool you are learning something out of every fool hoping to repeat none of these cheap follies okay so here tell him to be fool every so often so just uh, how many of the fools in this world just tell him clearly and then and to have no shame of having been a fool okay so don't cheat to any other persons okay so be aware and then you are learning something out of every fool is learning something out of every folies every folies here it mentions his mistakes what we have done our mistakes we can learn okay next next forward next levels we will not do that mistake okay hoping to repeat none of the cheap folies again it will not repeat that mistake if you do some mistakes again it will not make the mistake so just uh, through our mistake we can learn many things So the practice of a practical life, you can mention here. Okay, again, I repeat this fifth stanza here. Telling him time as a stuff can be wasted. Telling to be fool every so often. Be aware in this world. So so many fools in this here. So okay, so just we have to be aware and to have no shame of having been a fool. Yet learning something out of every fool. at learning something out of every folly every mistakes we can learn so next steps we will not do that it will not repeat it hoping to repeat none of these mistakes that is cheap folies yeah. okay next sixth stanza here thus arriving at intimate understanding thus arriving at intimate understanding information that understanding of your world numbering many fools in this world number of fools so we should be aware tell him to be alone often and get at himself tell him to be alone loneliness so okay just you have to take rest and loneliness thing in your life and get it at yourself who said father said to his son whatever the white lies and protect your friends whatever the white lies first we should not say any lies from ours okay be frank be genuine in our life that's the perfect way of our life okay who is that uh who call agus sandbox the experience of this poor okay is your father to his son father advice to his son okay so here next this is 5 and 6 Seventh and eighth and ninth stanzas. Now we will learn that here. Okay, next uh, this is seventh stanza. So here seven, eight, and nine. So remaining only we have uh, three stanzas. He may use against other people. He may use against other people. So, okay, against other people we will not say any lie. So that it will be uh, hurt. to others so don't say any lie to others against other people tell him solitude is creative if he is strong tell him solitude tell him alone alone okay is creative alone is creative is if he is strong it will be making very strong 
and the final decisions are made in silent rooms yes after father and mother brothers whatever they say just we have to accept then final decision or individual decisions is must so afterwards we have to make it make it that separate one place and think and analyze the what we will make the decision just that is a final decision here okay so here tell you to be different from other people the final decisions are made in, in silent rooms okay the silent rooms first we have to make then we will make the decision the final decision and then next tell you to be different so we are very different from other people from other people so, okay so every time so that's our our own thought different from others tell him to be different from other people if it comes natural and easy being different if it comes natural and easy being different let him have lazy days seeking his deeper let him have lazy days let him have lazy days seeking his deeper okay seeking his deeper seeking searching Okay, next days we have to make the meaningful days. Just we have to make it in ourselves. Okay, okay. so here let him have lazy days, seeking his deeper. Let him seek deep. Let him seek deep, search deeply, for when he is born natural. Actually, our born is natural. Okay, and then we have to search in our life, best way of life. That is a seeking. let him seek deep for where he is born natural then he may understand shakespeare the shakespeare's authors the famous authors they have given here okay like authors you have to create our imagination think our life then we will do that perfectly then he may understand shakespeare and the right brothers pasto paulo michael faraday and free imagination that free imagination just we can come back how they are achieve their life this is a famous authors yeah, given it okay again i repeat this uh, seventh and eighth stanza here he may use against other people tell him solitude is creative tell him solitude the loneliness alone decision okay self decisions just tell him is creative is his strong and the final decisions are made in silent rooms the final decision it may it, it will be made the final rooms are silent rooms tell him to be different from other people okay tell him to be different from other people if it comes natural and he is being different okay so this is seventh stanza that's totally wow this eighth stanza let him have lazy days seeking his deeper if we have lazy days we have to create we have to make it the perfect days seeking the deeper thought seeking his deeper let him seek deep for where he is born natural let him seek deep for where he is born natural then he may understand like as authors here shakespeare and the right brothers pasto paulo michael faraday and free imagination so here they have finished seven and eight stanza okay now last one stanza in this last one stanza only we have four stanza four lines only okay so bringing change into a world resenting change bringing change into a world resenting change just we have to change in our behavior a correct way of life that's it will be making a perfect way. okay resenting here disliking bringing changes into a world disliking changes he will be lonely enough to have time for the work to have the time for the work time for the work he knows as his own each and every individual person his he knows himself okay so what we are doing and what we have done so in what is the life everything he knows 
okay so after father advised to his son he realized his life okay so which is the best and which is the worst so which we want to take in our life that is perfect life of like your father to his son is a main theme of this book okay so again just now here last the five stanza just i will read out just you can recall it tell him time as a stuff can be wasted tell him to be a fool ever so often and to have no shame ever having been a fool you are learning something out of every folly we can learn every mistake that is learning something out of every folly hoping to repeat none of the cheap follies again it will not be repeated okay just we have to rectify it. that is that fifth stanza okay next is sixth stanza here thus arriving at intimate understanding of a world numbering many fools the world number of fools in this world we have to take our correct way of life tell him to be alone often and get at himself tell him to be alone and get at himself and above all tell himself no lies about himself no lies about himself positive way only we have to create whatever the white lies and protect you friends he may use against other people tell him solitude alone is creative is strong and the final decisions are made in silent rooms tell him to be different from other people if it comes natural and is being different let him have lazy days seeking his deeper motivates motives let him seek deep let him seek deep for that is born natural then he may understand shakespeare and the right brothers fausto paulo michael faraday and free imaginations like uh, arthur next last stanza bringing change into your world resenting change dislike change he will be lonely enough that's best good to have time for the work he knows as his work okay so this is full and full father advice to his son how we are going to live how to live our life perfectly thank you students